G'day everyone, Darcy here from the Aussie Crafters, and today we are going to be reviewing the Guardwell brand handcuffs that I have. I've got two sets of handcuffs, which I've owned for a little under one or two years, and they're the Guardwell branded ones. We have the hinged handcuffs here, as well as the chained handcuffs, and well, we're going to be reviewing them. We'll first start off with the hinged cuffs. So all of the Guardwell handcuffs have a very similar assembly that are available from kitbag.com.au. In terms of the the bow, the ratchet teeth, the locking internals, as well as the features on the cuffs, such as the double locking and the normal lock. So we'll demonstrate the double locking mechanism first. So this is the extend a universal handcuff key, and you'll get two of these when you buy your handcuffs. If you use this end of the handcuffs, the, long, the short bit, and stick it into the, the double locking hole, you can hear a little click once I push down. And that means the double locking is engaged, and now I can't put, may, apply the cuffs anymore. So I can fling them around, set them on the table, and the cuffs are not going to go any tighter. To unlock, I just put the key in and turn to the left and you'll hear a click. Now I can engage the locking again, and to just normally unlock them, put the key in and turn all the way to the right. And now I've released myself from the cuffs. Next up are the chain cuffs. So the chain cuffs, you get two chains here, but the same features. And as you would have noticed, I've actually cuffed myself with the keyholes facing me. But luckily, the chain cuffs, you're able to, you've got a bit of freedom. These handcuffs, both sets of hand, both uh, sets of handcuffs here were only $80. And if you think to, to a lot of your bigger brands of handcuffs, Asp, Smith & Weston, Peerless, and other brands of handcuffs which look very similar to this, because these do look similar to the Smith & Weston Model 100s, the, the Smith & Weston Model 100s are going to cost you about $120 for one set. These are only, like I said before, only $80. And you may think, oh, a bit cheaper, a bit risky, but I can assure you that they are not. Because you still get the, a lot of the main features that you'd get on Smith & Weston handcuffs. You've still got the bow with the ratchet teeth that go in. You've still got your lock and your double locking mechanism. And the cuffs are very tough. I've carried these cuffs in basketball leather uh, cuff cases. As well as uh, nylon cases. I've used the belt keeper and had them just suspend from the duty belt. I've carried them on a load-bearing vest, I've dropped them onto concrete, I've dropped them onto wood, I've dropped them onto the natural environment, so dirt, and both of these handcuffs have been fully inundated with uh, water, and the cuffs still work fine. And these cuffs have had a bit of a rough life, but, there aren't, but the scratches that I have actually put onto the cuffs are not very noticeable, and the scratches that are on here that are noticeable most of them are going to be able, most of these are going to, are not going to be noticed and they're going to be easily buffed out. They're a great set of handcuffs. Whatever one you get. Me personally, I prefer the hinged handcuffs because you have more security. Because whether you cuff someone to the front, you cuff them to the back, or you do the UK trick, which they use with the uh, rigid handcuffs and cuff somebody like this, no matter how you handcuff someone with hinged handcuffs, it's going to be very hard. It's very hard to get out of. I've made the mistake of actually handcuffing myself behind my back, but luckily I did have the keys. It took me 45 minutes to get out of the hinged handcuffs, but that doesn't mean. But that doesn't mean you can discredit the chained handcuffs as well. Again, I've made the mistake. I've cuffed myself behind my back. 
with the chain handcuffs and it took me 15 minutes to get out and that was with the keys and I, I did get left with some marks so do be careful when you use the cuffs just make sure you don't handcuff yourself but these handcuffs are great and there's really no flaws in them I've had the, the well no flaws that I've found I've like I've said I've dropped them into the ground dropped them from height they've been fully inundated in water they've uh, been dragged along the ground and had bits of dirt and sticks and stuff and it didn't take much for the cuffs to get good again and you only need to give them a bit of a clean with Glen 20 a bit of WD-40 and your cuffs are as right as rain again but that's the review for the Guardwell handcuffs now another thing I will add is that when you buy handcuffs from Guardwell sorry uh, kit bag the Guardwell brand of handcuffs you do get a little cuff case a very cheap and a very basic one with a zipper and well a lot of people would throw that package into the rubbish you can still use that package that little um, zipper packaging as a glove pouch or a pouch for a notepad so you there is a bit more versatility that you can use but that's my review of the guardwell handcuffs thank you so much for watching everyone if you like the video leave a comment down below and do consider leaving a like and I will leave a link in the description for the handcuffs. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next one. See you.